So today I'm going to be sharing my February favorites with you guys and I don't have a ton of products but I do really love everything that I have so let's just jump right into it. Now if you guys have been watching me for a while, I don't. the very first thing that I've been loving this month is actually what is on my lips today and this is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Gloss and I have a bunch of these but my favorite color is number 312 and I think the color is called Rouge Envy. It's such a beautiful berry shade and it's just so complimentary on my skin tone. Now if you guys watched me for a while I'm not really a gloss person but the reason why I love these glosses is because they don't feel like a traditional lip gloss. They're not sticky, they don't get everywhere, they don't like smear which is why I love it. It's like a very hydrating lipstick. It's like a glossy finished lipstick so I love these and I highly recommend checking them out if you guys are looking for really pigmented lip glosses. I've also been loving something that I received for my birthday from Sephora which if you guys you know are part of their beauty insider you'll also get this. This is the Marc Jacobs. I just want to show you how small it is. This is their um, lipstick and the color is what is it called? Uh, Kiss Kiss Bang Bang and this is such a beautiful pink shade. I need to buy this lipstick for myself. I love it so much. First of all, the packaging, even though it's so tiny, is so cute, but the color is just so flattering on my skin tone. I hope you guys can see that. And I love the formula of these lipsticks. They are super long lasting. They're your traditional lipsticks. They're not like a liquid lipstick, but they're so long lasting. So I'm definitely going to be picking this up. So if your birthday is coming up, I really suggest checking out the Marc Jacobs free gift from Sephora. I think there's like a choice of two. I obviously just went with the Marc Jacobs one. They also give you this little liner, which is also very nice. So the next product that I've been loving in February is a foundation that I've been wearing so much this month. I'm actually not wearing it today, but I have been wearing it so much. And this is the Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay in Place Foundation, and I'm in the shade Honey Bronze. If you guys are looking for a long wearing foundation that gives you beautiful coverage, that literally you do not have to reapply it, anything that you put on top will also stay on all day. This is the way to go, I think. It is around 30 something or maybe $40. It's a little bit on the expensive side, but a little bit goes a long way and you'll have it for a long time. I just love this foundation. Everything about it is just amazing. The formula, the coverage, the color, it's just perfection. I love that and I've been using it so much recently. So my next two eyeshadows are my everyday eyeshadows that I love wearing on a daily basis. Now for everyday wear, I do like a little bit of color on my eyes without going like too crazy. Like I don't, you know, do like a smoky eye obviously on a daily basis. I just like a little wash of color. The first one that I have been loving recently is the L'Oreal Color Riche Eyeshadow and this is a number 202. Let me open it and show you guys. It's a beautiful peachy champagne color that is just so complimentary on my skin tone and it's just a great everyday color. It's like you just put this on all over your lids and you're good, and you're good to go. I've also been loving one that I talked about on my blog and this is the NARS Telesto eyeshadow and this is their dual intensity eyeshadow. This is very similar to Max Woodwinked but it's not like as shiny as Max Woodwinked. So this is what it looks like. It's gorgeous, hopefully it will focus. It's a beautiful color that I love so much for a daily basis. Let me actually go ahead and swatch um, the color riche as well for you guys so you guys can see. Lesto, which is this one here, is like a dirty brown. I know that sounds not so flattering, but it's a gorgeous shade with like hints of gold in there. And then you've got the Color Riche 202, which is a beautiful like peachy champagne. So I thought I would just share that with you guys if you guys were looking for some ideas for everyday eyeshadows. If you just want like a little bit of color without going too crazy. All right, the next product that I've been loving, I'm actually thinking if I talked about this on my Snapchat or if I mentioned this in my January favorites. I feel like I talked about it on my Snapchat though. And if you guys are not following me, my Snapchat ID is just Arshia underscore makeup. I will leave it here for you guys so you guys can follow me there. Um, I have been loving using my Makeup Forever Micro Finish Powder. Now to be quite honest with you guys, I'm not really a big translucent powder type person. I don't really like, I don't know why, I feel like it always breaks me out. Like one, something in translucent powders always breaks me out. First of all, this doesn't do that, which is why I already love it. The main reason that I really love this translucent powder, you guys will see in an upcoming tutorial if you haven't already seen it is that I love using it to prevent creasing underneath my eyes. 
I actually learned that technique from Nikki tutorials because my under eye concealer was creasing like crazy and I was just getting so frustrated. So she suggested if you just take like a damp beauty blender, which is this is actually damp right now, and you just take a little bit. I'm just going to show you actually right now. So I just take a little bit of the translucent powder um, on a damp beauty blender. Make sure it's really damp, your beauty blender. And then I just like to apply my concealer and then just set this underneath the eyes with that. And I don't know if it just soaks up any excess product or what it is, but my under eye concealer does not crease when I try this technique, which I think is awesome. I've tried doing the same technique with other face powders and it does not work as well. It works just really well with um, a translucent powder. So that's all you have to do if you experience under eye concealer from creasing. You don't have to use one from Makeup Forever, the translucent powder. You can even get one from e.l.f. as long as it's a translucent powder. This technique should work for you. My next product is an oldie but a goodie and this is the Graph Black Technical Eyeliner from MAC. I used to use this liner all the time. Like seriously, this was my go-to. I used to go through this so quickly. And then recently I've just gotten so many different liners that I need to go through that I completely forgot about this. But I was going through my collection and I was like, Whoa, let me just go back and try this again. And I realized how much I used to love the Technical Eyeliner. If you guys struggle with eyeliner staying on in your waterline, I really recommend trying the Graph Black one. Just go to a MAC store, sanitize one, or have one of the artists just sanitize one. And just try it out in the morning and see how it wears throughout the day. I used to love recommending this to everyone. It's very soft on the eyes. It's not like harsh, but it just stays put all day. Like it does not move at all, which is why I really love this. So yeah, if you guys have trouble with your eyeliner staying on, I really recommend trying out um, the Technical. I think you guys will really like it. The next thing that I've been loving is the Moroccan Oil Intense Hydrating Mask, which looks like this. And I've actually had this for a really long time. I think I got this during Gen Beauty last year and I never got around to using it. I was actually looking for um, a way to deep condition my hair because my hair has recently found, felt really, really dry. So I was just looking for a good product that would deep condition my hair. And this was one of them and I will have a complete tutorial coming up for you very soon on how I deep condition my hair. But I used this and I seriously fell in love with this hair mask. Just a little bit about my hair for those of you guys who don't know. I have really straight hair naturally, but it's also very, very flat. So I'm always looking for products that will give it a lot of volume and I'm always staying away from products that will really weigh it down. So I'm not really a big like fan of hair masks. So I just, for that reason, I just never use this. But when I was doing my research for my hot or deep conditioning treatment, this was one that came up a lot. And I tried it and I absolutely fell in love because it doesn't weigh my hair down at all. It also just washes out of your hair really nicely. It smells amazing and it definitely works to deep condition the hair. If you guys have dry hair, I really recommend trying this one out. I think you guys will love it. Okay, so the last thing that I've been loving recently is the show The Walking Dead. Now, if you guys watch me on Snapchat, I talked about it briefly, but I used to actually watch um, The Walking Dead like when it first came out. And then I... At season three, I think, or maybe season four, season three or four, it just got really repetitive and I was just over like these zombies and it just was like the same thing back to back. But then I, all of my friends were telling me that The Walking Dead is so good and you need to get back. Like after season three or four, it gets really good. So I got back into it and I'm totally hooked on the show. If you guys are looking for a great show to watch that keeps your heart like, I don't know, my heart just is always beating so fast when I watch that show. I love The Walking Dead. I also have been loving watching Shark Tank, which is a show that I recently discovered. I've always heard about Shark Tank, like since it first came out, I think I've heard of it, but I never really got into it for whatever reason. But recently I've just been watching it and I've been binge watching it because it's such a great show. It just teaches you so much about business and I love discovering people's you know, ideas and how they start their small businesses. It's just such a great show to like get inspiration, to get you pumped and it's just so funny you guys need to watch that show just watch like one episode i think you guys will love it so that is it you guys thank you so much for watching please don't forget to thumbs up this video it is so helpful to me and don't forget to subscribe so you guys can get my video updates whenever i post something new and i will talk to you guys in my next video bye everyone